how much of a role was light weighting and reduction um, you know, playing within those objectives right, right at the very beginning? You know, for, for Maverick, the goal was 40 mile per gallon plus, right, at $20,000 price point. So, you know, the hybrid wasn't going to do that all by itself, right? You can't just put motors and batteries in and get that efficiency. So mass reduction was really critical. And we're coming from the Ford's, you know, advanced C2 platform. It's very flexible and it had a lot of opportunity for us to move things around differently. And, 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 you know, even something as simple as moving the fuel tank rearward behind the rear seat, for example, architecturally, saved mass, gave us more structural boxing in the frame area, and then also allowed massive storage buckets under the rear seat. Instead of um, using expensive high-tech material, we went about it in a way where, as I described earlier, in order to achieve the uh, lower load height, for instance, uh, we used uh, the B side of the uh, scuff plate uh, and we ran uh, CAE analysis and really made sure that our minimum requirements were all taken care of, but any extra weight, any extra uh, poly pro that was that was there on the B side, we we literally just went ahead and we carved that out. And on the joining aspect, again, you know, we're definitely in a multi-material um, situation where we do have mixed materials, steels and aluminums, which prevent you know presents some some joining challenges. Uh, a lot of mechanical joining, a lot of adhesive bonding comes with this. But also when it comes to steel, again, it was we're pushing the needle on on, on or the the strength level up and up and up. Uh, you know. Joining can be more of a challenge. Those spot welds can sometimes be a little bit more brittle. So, again, how do we, you know, handle that in the spot welding? We you could use adhesive bonding. Maybe we use selective softening, again, laser softening to help give a little bit more spot weld ductility. There's different ways that we can do that, but for sure, there are more challenges than what we had in the past.